In part two of the video series, WTC7, NIST finally admits freefall. I look at NIST's claim that Building 7 took 5.4 seconds for the top of the roof line to descend to the level of the 29th floor. I wanted to address the question, what was going on when the NIST team started their clock? The answer, not much. The video I created at the time showed my actual process of discovery. I stepped through the video and counted frames. I have since created a more graphic illustration of the famous 5.4 second interval. This time I have added a clock to the frames. Each full cycle marks one second. Here is the 5.4 second interval. Here it is again in slow motion. Notice that the building doesn't start falling right away. The flagrance of the deceit is most apparent when the video is run backward in slow motion. See if you can anticipate when the clock should have started for a fairer timing. How about now? Maybe now? No, the clock was started a second and a half before the corner of the building started to move, and about a second prior to any noticeable movement of the penthouse. There is nothing subtle here. This is the measurement NIST used to compare to claims that the building came down at freefall. Whatever they might claim was happening at their starting point, it had nothing to do with the rate of fall of the building.